No, I think we should start over. <laughs> I mean, no, we can start over, but yeah, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay, okay. We're gonna, we're, we are gonna. Are start you gonna? Over. Okay. But I have. So... I want to compliment you, but I want to do it on the podcast. Okay. Are we gonna? Um... Are we gonna count down? Uh, yeah, I'd okay. say so. I'd cool. say we're gonna count down. I always count down. I wouldn't do this without counting down. We're gonna look very I smart now. Do that to you. We're smart and we're hold. counting down. Yes. You ready? Yes. Five. You ready for the next one? Yes. Four. Here it comes. Ready? Okay. One more. Yep. Three. Mm-hmm. You got a couple more, actually. That one was a fib. <laughs> we have a couple more. Ready? Two. Yep. Okay. And here we go. Ready? And one. I'm overstimulated. Expect the long awaited evolution of my brain. But if mentally we synchronize, despite what we despise, there's a chance that maybe I won't go insane. Hi, friends. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mental Sync. Welcome to Mental Sync, the only show that we get on the first try every single time. Because it's not like we have audio issues and have to start <laughs> over. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was so in credit to your webcam. Uh, <laughs> it took me a while to real also we've just been talking over like facetime and stuff and so it just and we haven't done this in a while and so it didn't stand out to me as different but we just did the first i don't know probably 10 15 minutes of an episode um while emily is pouring her heart out uh, about <laughs> the things she's learned this year and what she's been through uh mm-hmm. and i was like hey <laughs> is your mic on <laughs> <laughs> And the mic was on as far as she could hear, so it wasn't her fault. All you in the comments, get out of there. It wasn't her fault because her mic, she heard it through her microphone, but I was hearing it through the webcam, so it's my fault. And Blame when I checked, me. and when I checked, my computer was confused. Yeah, and, <laughs> and your it computer said that even this said it was, was coming from there. The mic, so I wouldn't have known otherwise. So but. honestly, I, I think we're both the victims here. Uh, we are. We w- are a victim of technology. Blame. Victim of technology. All right. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Um, <laughs> but what I want, the reason I wanted to start recording uh, before I complimented you is because my compliment to you actually has to do with our year in review, which is since <sighs> the beginning of 2022, you, mm-hmm. Emily, have Me. learned all all about production all this about so sound true. quality all about video quality and when we recorded our first well what was the date when did we do our first it was in may do we have it yeah it was in may um when we recorded our first episode uh we had recorded it and the quality was just not there may 19th may 19th ah um the quality just wasn't there and you and I had to have a long conversation uh, that I've been on the other side of many times, which is like, I know you worked really hard on it, and I know the content is very good, and we can post it, but viewers won't care. They want to see something that's good quality. And it was a long discussion, and then and you were like, no, you're right. It's just frustrating because we have the material, and now we've lost it. Yes. And I was like, I know, and I hate to be this person. And today, you I, we realized that the audio was off, and you were like, "Oh no!" And I was like, "It's okay. Let's just pick it up." And then you were like, "No, let's, like let's listen to it and see." You listen to it, and then we're like, "It's not great." And I was like, "Can we just make it work?" And you were like, "No." It's let's do <laughs> which, it again. in all honesty, I bet and, you we could have made it work, but I just didn't want to make it work because it wasn't up to my standards. But that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's that's how far you've come in the production world <laughs> in a year, and I am quite proud of you as you. a co um, a co collaborator. That's not the term. As a collaborator, as a co host and co creative head, uh, mm-hmm. it is yeah. Uh, you you're, yeah. you're just you've learned so much and it's been John so much has, fun making this John podcast with has you. taught me so much <laughs> because when I at my wedding my videographer I was telling him I was like you know for for the speeches I I don't want to make everybody wait to like eat their dinner I rather do it during dinner and he looks at me and he goes you know I like that idea but and I was like but we're gonna hear everybody's 
utensils and all the background noise and the people walking and he was like Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) he's like yeah no one ever no one ever ever, gets that no one ever knew that that. yeah and i was like yeah that's okay you're right (laughs) um but we ended up working it out because he ended up just like we fixed it so we did do it during dinner and it all came out fine hey um there we go but but yeah, um, there's that. And then also just editing. I feel like I've learned a lot about editing. Like if you didn't know, I actually edit some of our podcasts. Yeah. A decent when amount I'm of them. I'd say it's pretty decent, 50, I, I 50. would say it's 50-50. I think for a while you were doing them. Um, <clears throat> and we were, you were doing them, we were going back and forth. And then there was a solid, a solid block of time where like I think four or five weeks in a row I was posting. Because you were busy like prepping for your marriage you know prepping prepping yeah. a wedding and like whatever, whatever the fuck so running busy. 16 businesses <laughs> and plus your job mm-hmm. and it's like uh i guess i guess since my workload is relatively light that i'll just like edit the podcast edit these, you know. um and not to mention my, you like editing yeah not to mention it's like one of my favorite things to do uh but then my workload picked up and you were like I gotcha. Mm-hmm. And now you've been heading a lot of the editing and it's great. And, and I, I have, have say, 10 years of editing under my belt and you are editing like six months as well as it. I am. Yeah, it's it's great. It's I can't tell in the podcasts like whose is whose. Well, you know, I do have to say, I was going to say, the only reason I can tell whose is whose is because I think I'm funny when I'm editing. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, wait. <laughs> because there's as opposed times... to when I edit, which is well, no, because when you edit, when we're both having like when it's both of us, you have both of us on screen like talking. But sometimes in moments where we're both thinking about something, I'll go back and forth between us, <laughs> and there's nothing but silence, and it's so funny to me. It's very good. I like um, it, and that's the only way that I can tell because I I find a place to do that in most every episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my little signature. So if you're ever wondering, that's your little sign off. That's, yeah, that's my little. That's how you know. <laughs> you know, don't ever let me edit a movie. I'll, <laughs> there'll be awkward pans. It's like, just <laughs> just, um, but Marvel, man, what a year! We really liked your. <laughs> imagine <laughs> Marvel reaches out to me. We really liked your podcast. We'd like you to be our. We'd like, love you to edit uh, our, our uh, Spider-Man movie. 14. I'd be like, cool. Finally a way home. I'd be like, that's fine. And then they'd be like, all right, make sure this part gets cut. And I'd be like, okay, cool. And I'd be like, cut in between everybody in the silence because I can do that. <laughs> and we just like, flash this way, this way, this way. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Man. Yeah. What a year. What a year. What a year it's been. Well, um, one of the things in the in our fake episode, <laughs> yeah, in the fake episode, yeah, that we were talking about is the whole saying um, "New Year, New Me," which yeah. I despise. You hate that saying. I hate it. You despise that Don't saying. Like it. I it's have relatively neutral to negative feelings about it, but you despise it. I despise it. You want to know why I despise it? Tell me all about your hatred. Um, mainly because. I get it. Like, I get why people say it. It's like, oh, new year, like, new me. But I'm more so like, I don't want to be new. I don't yeah. want to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to be better. Trying like, to I add, be add on to what's already great. A better version of me. A better yeah, version. Yeah, and like, this year specifically, I learned so much. Yeah. Like, I had, there was just so much crap that went on this year that like, there if you were to. There was a crap that went If you were like, was your year. year good or bad? I'd be like, it was a forest fire. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> like, if. <laughs> Everything's if, on fire man, all the time. Like it's those like film rating websites where like rather than putting like a percentage or like a six out of ten, whatever, you have to put like thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> For you, you would be like thumbs down. All the all the thumbs down. <laughs> Which is saying how bad some stuff was, considering how many great things happened to you this year. And that's why it's well, yeah. totally unfair to be like, yeah, new year, new me, as if like this last year isn't the me I want to be. It like, doesn't I'm count. Scra- I mean, like, I'm sure there are some situations that we could come up with where, like, maybe that's a good saying of, like, you know, people having... I'm sure there are a bunch of people that are having real, like, come-to-Jesus moments of, oh, like, I'm gonna change everything. And to you all, I say that's great. Mm -hmm. But 
to the um, insanely anxious and stressed out college student that got A minuses in their classes and are like, I need to really push myself this year and I'm going to get those A pluses and it's a new year, new me. It's not a new you. You're, You're doing great. You're just, just growing. You've just upgraded to iOS 2023. Yeah. Yeah. I like let you know, let's not uh define growth as or like let's not limit the idea of growth to being mm-hmm. like completely changing and you know, yes. upheaving your life and like and things just, have to be so different this yeah, year because it, we failed. And that was another thing changes. I mentioned too is that I really don't believe in failure in that sense yeah. because I think everything we go through is an experience or an opportunity for growth and for learning. Um and for me this year, that's definitely something that I've done. Um I've spent a lot of time this year having this attitude of like Oh, I don't really care what you think. I have to do it for me because it's what I want. And that's big because yeah. for a, like, even I said, I said this to Victor the other day, I spent a lot of time worrying about other people's feelings or how someone else is going to perceive me or even how I, my, my actions are going to affect someone else when that's only holding me back from doing what I really want to do. So it's really important to me to be able to say like, well, I don't really care about what you think. I'm going to do it anyway because it's going to bring me what I need it to bring me. Yeah. Um, and I think that's huge for just anyone. And I've, I have i kid you not when I tell you I've spent my entire life like caring about others' feelings over mine. That is no joke. That is I'm no well aware. joke. Um, I have put myself, I guess, in a way I've been putting myself down this entire yeah. time where it's like, oh, I don't really, my feelings don't matter. If this person's happy, that's all that matters. But this year i was like you know i am empathetic and sympathetic to what you might be going through and i understand that that might be frustrating but again this is something i need to do for myself and that's that and like setting these boundaries is another big thing that i've really focused on doing this year um because i've let a lot of people walk all over me my entire life and i finally was like enough of that can't do that anymore. Can't do that anymore. Goodbye. Yeah. Hell yeah. All done. Absolutely. So um, that's been so a yeah. big thing for this year. I, I think a I think a big thing for me this year. I mean, so like just talking about starting this podcast alone. This podcast has been such a great tool. Yeah, like you know, hope uh, hope everyone likes it. You know, hope everyone's we get more viewers and is whatever great. Blah blah blah. But what's actually great about the podcast is it's just a chance for you and I to really talk out all of our all of yeah. our shit in like a format that kind of requires us to focus a little more. And so it's a little <laughs> bit more productive. It's like because it, you and I thing. would never sit down and have a conversation and say today we are going to talk about ADHD and procrastination. Like no. yeah, no, but. It's been so therapeutic to... Yeah, and and even to that point, before you finish that, just to give myself another little pat on the back, (laughs) is this is another idea that I had that I went after. And I've had a lot of ideas that I've been like, "Mm, I don't know, is it going to work? I don't know. Are people going to be receptive to it? Mm, I I don't want to do it. But it's like, you'll never, you don't know if you don't try. And my favorite quote... And I don't even know. It's not even his quote, but he's the one who I heard it from and then was like, uh, I uh, agree with rest? that. It is. It is. As he says, what if it could turn out better than you've ever imagined? Yep. And that's, I live by that. That has been yeah. my theme this quote. year. Um, and I've started a lot of new things. Some things didn't go as well as I wanted them to. Um, mm. Other things, like I'd have to say this podcast is going pretty well. Oh. It's going pretty all right. Yeah, we're having a good time. Uh, I still have people reach out to me sometimes and be like, hey, I love your podcast. And I'm like, thank you. Thanks. It's, um, yeah, it's fun. And I hope we kind of yeah. continue to find ways to to improve it. And, you know, it's not so we're not going to have a new podcast uh, next season. Oh, this is the season finale. Did we say that? I don't think we oh, said yeah. that. This, this is the season finale. Season finale. This is the Surprise. end of season two. <laughs> this is the end of season two uh, because we've been having a very hard time keeping up. Um, life has gotten quite hectic, especially mm-hmm. around the holiday times, uh, and we definitely need a, a second to just regroup, uh, re- get a bunch of episodes under our belts so that we can like post 
reliably <laughs> every week. We did pretty um, pretty good. We did pretty good up until the last like month good. and a half. Yeah, the last month was not not great. But thanks for if you're still listening. Thanks for hanging out, guys. You know what? And you I believe have to in say, us and, the man. people who I I well, we typically have like a certain number of people who listen every single week. Yeah. And I'd have to say that those people are still listening every single week because it's about the same number. So y'all are the real. So ones. thank you, thank thanks you. So much. We couldn't do it without you. No. I mean, we could, but it would be really weird. Yeah, it'd be weird. It wouldn't be fun. We'd just be talking <laughs> we'd, to ourselves. We'd be talking to ourselves, and then we'd be like, "Oh wow, nobody listened to this today." <laughs> yeah, you guys <laughs> are you guys are the reason why this feels slightly less narcissistic. Is if <laughs> yeah. it's actually for others. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's just for us, and that's fine. But you know. Yeah, and we. Have it's a nice lot of to believe other people are listening. Yeah, we have a lot of plans for this coming. Oh yeah. For season three. Oh, for the yeah. new year. Finding our rhythm. We're getting our footing yeah. down. This whole wheel um, thing has been great. I know. We didn't spiel, spin the... We should have made a wheel that just had New Year's that or like season year, finale. <laughs> season finale. That would have been good. Yep. Or different um, ways to say New Year, New Me. Like in the- <laughs> <laughs> Old, you're canceled. Um, yeah. But, man, <laughs> for me, this year, like outside of the podcast... Well, because the podcast started in May, and uh, the end of April is when I had resigned, respectfully, Mm -hmm. uh, from an assistant job that I was working that I was not enjoying at all. I was not having a good time. Um, Did I say a job I was enjoying or a job I was working? You said a job I wasn't enjoying. I wasn't enjoying. Yeah, no. I, I just, I blacked out for a second there. I didn't like it. It wasn't fun. I wasn't being treated super great. The hours were terrible and the pay was a step above the absolute bottom. Uh, And so it just wasn't for me. And um, so I spent the majority of the year, the whole time we've been doing the podcast, uh, freelancing, um, which is like a little tougher, uh, but allowed for a much more flexible schedule and gave me some good introspective introspection time introspecting interest time to introspect yep. time to reflect time to think about all the stuffs in my brains and um one of the biggest things i think i learned from it this year is to respect the spectrum of everything and how everything is a spectrum and nothing is binary um and the the greatest example, especially like recently, has been like around my dating life, around like my life with just relationships and stuff like that. And um, recently, I've very much been feeling the fact that like relationships are such a spectrum and mm-hmm. there is so much in like, I mean, specifically talking about like romantic relationships, I guess there's so much in between of like a very strictly casual no feelings like hookup versus uh committed exclusive monogamous relationship and i'm like there's so much middle ground of like just dating people and getting to know people Mm -hmm. and enjoying the human experience and looking for human connection and um as a writer that loves to write about relationships i'm this is a long-winded saying of or wow this is a long-winded way of saying that I'm becoming more comfortable with the idea of things being messy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to this next year to exploring the mess a little bit and I having, you know, not being worried about like, oh, it works or it doesn't. Or like, what if it like, you know, the risk factor is it it, it either works or it fails. Because like you're saying, it's not really failure. It's mm-hmm. just, you know... Failure also, is just failure is just example like the the steps you took towards success to get where you are yeah right and I think and I think that's the other thing too is even if we are gonna look at things as like oh this was a win or this was a fail for this past year you can always say yeah something didn't work out the way that it was supposed to but just like you said like it brought me to where I am now and it gave me this new perspective and that's been positive and yeah. I think and that's the way I really like to look at. I guess I'll say failures just to say it. Like, that's the way that I look at things that don't go the way that I want them to is, okay, um, that sucked. That made me feel really crappy. Um, 
but what can I do to feel better? Or what can I do better next time if I want this certain success? Or how yeah. can I improve? And and I find like I'm always asking myself that question because that's the only way for improvement is to constantly be asking yourself how to get to the next step or how to be better. And and again, even if you aren't exactly where you you want to be right now, it's fine. And yeah. honestly, I can even say that over the past three years, that's been something I've been trying to learn because four years now, actually, when I graduated for, from college, my initial plan was I'm going to take like a year off. Um, I'm then going to apply to medical school. And if I did that, then this coming year would be when I was graduating from medical school. And that's a big hit, right? To be like, oh, I'm not even close to that. Um, yeah. But I've really found myself the past couple of years in allowing myself to be like, it's okay that I'm not where I wanted to. I've definitely had moments where I've seen friends of mine graduate from medical school and I'm like, Ugh, that that hurts. Like I would be there too, or I would be closer or I can't wait for that to be me. And it's like, oh, that's so far away. But I've always been a person and I've had so many people tell me this about myself too. Like when they're like, oh, I really admire that you're a, you'll get there when you get there person. I'm like, I agree. And I think that there's a strength and a weakness to that, right? Like you don't want to rely on, I'll get there when I'll get there if you're not putting in the work, right? right. Because then you kind of get stuck in that stagnant, like, am I going to get there? Yeah. Or maybe I'm not trying really to get there and I'm just saying, oh, when I get there, it'll be there, whatever. Right. But the strength to that is acknowledging right now it's okay that I'm not there and really kind of throwing yourself into what you're focusing on now and having that be fulfilling and successful. And I think that's really important to be able to kind of allow yourself to feel that I'll get there when I get there. And that is how I feel about medical schools. I know that my end goal is X, right? Yeah. And I'm over here like, that's great. And I still, that's there. And that's always in the back of my mind. And I'm always thinking about that. But I'm not disappointed that I'm not there yet. And I've sure. really found like, I love being a business owner. I love my business. Like I never thought that I'd ever You're own so a business. Good at it. Like I never thought in my entire yeah. life that I would own a business ever. Yeah. Like that was never in my, like, my, like, I don't even know how to explain that. I guess yeah. my view, like I never really. It was never on your radar. That. It was never something yeah. that you like really thought you'd be working towards. And I never, it was never even an idea. Like yeah. it was never like, oh, one day I'm going to own a business, nah. you know? And so uh, in 2021, when I was like, I'm going to own a business. <laughs> Um, I had no idea it would get to where it is today. Um, and I've really enjoyed learning about it. Like within the first like six months, I learned so much of yeah. having that business and people would always ask me like, Oh, how'd you do that? And I'd be like, trial and error, dude, <laughs> like <laughs> trial and error. If I tried it and didn't work, I didn't do it again. You know, like I just kept learning and I, I had no one to help me. I asked like no one, I know no one who owns a their own business. Um, I mean, I know some people who have like different types of businesses, but no one that like would be in my situation with what I was doing. Sure. Um, and then I started to like network with people who did have the same thing going that I did or had a similar line of what I wanted to do. And I asked them questions and I, I just showed them what I was doing and I shared my ideas and my thoughts and got feedback. And that was huge for me too, because I was always so afraid to do that. Like afraid of what other people would think of me, afraid of what the outcome would be and to be able to sit there and be like, no, this is actually, this is good. Like I'm doing, we're, I'm doing good things. I'm trying really hard and, you know, I'm putting my best effort into it. And I just, I'm really thankful that the day that I decided I wanted to do that, that I just, I just went for it. Um, and I think that applies to this year as well, especially with this podcast. I had this idea and then I texted John and was like, okay, <laughs> So already out of breath. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I've been thinking. That's why I'm out of breath. <laughs> I don't need movement to be out of breath. I just need my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, um, you texted me in a in a cold sweat and we're like, pretty, do you I mean, want to do a podcast with me about mental health? And I was like, Yeah, that sounds fun. And you were like, Do you want to do it? Do you want to do you want to do it now? <laughs> I literally, like, I was like, oh, No. Oh. 
like, <laughs> like yeah, not right like good I, tomorrow, maybe. I think that'd be really, I think that'd be really fun. And you're and you're like, okay, here's some ideas that I'm thinking. Do you want to like like talk about it over the phone and like have a meeting? And I'm like, oh, yeah. and that's and I need that. I need mm-hmm. that energy because I love living in the ideas world of like, oh yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be fun to do. Um, and I need someone to be like, we'll let's do go. It. Let's yeah. go. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, and so it has worked out, I think, quite nicely. Uh, yes. And, and I, I think for me, the initial jump was, was scary even to ask you yeah. because I yeah. was also, but not because of, it was, it's never no, because but of like, you. Because then you're externalizing it and it makes it yes. real. I and, understand entirely. And, and the other thing about that too, is like, what if you say no? Right. Like, I mean, I still would have done it in sure. some way, shape or form, even if I did it by myself. But but who could replace exactly, me? exactly. No, but the biggest thing for me was I didn't want to do it with anybody else. Right. So I was like, I have to ask John. And if John says no, we'll rethink our plan. But <laughs> but that was my biggest fear was I was like, I really want this to come to life. And I have all these ideas and I really I really want it to work. And so I texted you and then I sat there for like five minutes. and was like. Oh boy! I just put my yeah. entire idea out there, um, and, and I I'm also so glad you did. Me too. Thank you. And I would like to also just say thank you again for <laughs> listening to all my crazy ideas. <laughs> <laughs> because let me tell you, the past couple of months I've been like, okay, what if we tried this? Or what do you think about this? Or would you want to try this? Have you? I made business cards. You want to see them? Oh, by the way, I'm thinking for next year we could try this. <laughs> and John's just out there and be like. Okay, I like it, but let's take a step back for a minute and talk about how realistic it can be. And that's what I need. <laughs> we, but that's the thing is that's also what I need. And it's really, it's, I think we have a very, very good mix of like one of us will get to kind of be in the clouds and like be in the ideas person and think about it. And the other is like, okay. Or I guess mm-hmm. I feel like you're very much, you've very much been the ideas person of like, let's do this and this and this and this and this. And I'm like, I love all of that stuff, but let's, let's solidify the foundation. Let's, you know, yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. but then I've been like, Ooh, and like this idea could be fun. Yeah. Uh, and you're, you're the fire of like, yes, let's do it. Let's drive with that idea. And like, it's just, it's a great balance. It's a great little mixture. It's been working out great. And I think it's been a great year for that reason. It has been. Um, for other reasons it hasn't been, but I mean, like, I you, I don't even, like, we already said this, but I don't even know how to summarize the year of, like, oh, it was a good year. Oh, it was a bad year. It was a lot of a year. There was a lot. It was a whole bunch of a year. Uh, mm-hmm. My goodness. And, um, yeah, I, I think one of the biggest things, I've been talking to a couple people about this, uh, just in terms of, like, you know, oh, what do you feel like the, you know, in, in talking about, New year, new me, or, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, new year, me plus, (laughs) me, new year, me premium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We'll come up with something better. Um, but in light of that, um, I don't know, in thinking about what I, not what I want to change, but what's the new energy for this year? Uh, I think this past year was very social life heavy for me in a great way where I was in a pretty good place financially because I started the year off working on set and that's just, you know, 80 hour weeks. Uh, And then um, I was freelancing and I was able to, you know, use the savings that I had um, and like still like work a little bit, but I had so much free time and I got to use it to like see my friends way more often, really enjoy my summer. Um, you know, I have my core group of friends that I see daily, like all the time, um, or like, you know, as often as I can, but I got to, I got to tend to other friendships that are still, you know, that are are like relatively new, um, Mm -hmm. like, you know, like, cause I have my group of guys that I've been friends with since college. Uh, but then I've like met people in New York and I got to actually, put a little bit of attention into that and and that was great um yeah and also you and i we have never in our entire friendship uh talked this much except for maybe like when When we were were actually high school and we would see each other but not even all of high school like early high school like freshman and sophomore year um 
And that's been wonderful. And so now I am feeling like my social life cup is quite full. Oh, uh, which has been that. wonderful. I will continue filling it up. This is That's by no means. something I need to work on. Hey, it's hard. I think it's, I mean, it's a certain priority that you have to yeah, and my, prioritize <laughs> once in a yeah, while. Yeah, well, my priorities um, are a little different too, just because I, I want to establish like business relationships for yeah. what I'm trying to grow first. And then, well, right. Yeah. Yeah. And so it all just depends on where you're trying to go. A hundred percent. And where I'm feeling like I'm at now, because I was feeling a lot, I was, I was feeling really absorbed into the career and work life stuff that I was like, I'm just not tending to friendships the way I would like to. Um, and now I feel like I have been to a degree, like, I think they're maintained well enough where they can kind of run passively in the background. Mm -hmm. and still still happen like still see people still i've got those like kind of patterns worked out and i you know they'll reach out to me also um yeah. and i don't have to be quite the degree of like active yeah. um and can put that energy into hopefully what i'd like to do this year is put a little more energy into my creative career um yeah. which is you know this a little bit uh, mm -hmm. A little, little bit of mental sink. A little bit. Um, I want to get serious about my scripts. I want mm -hmm. to, you I know. I would like you to do that too. I know. <laughs> I know, man. Uh, Maybe so because I'm very entertained. cameo in every yeah. single, yeah, thing that I make. Um, I, wa I want to get serious about making more content because I'm turning, I'm turning 27 next month and, uh, you know. It's, oh, wow, you're old. I know. I'm an As old As if I'm not going to also turn yeah, 27 this what, year. six months behind me? <laughs> yeah. Um. Five. I right yeah I don't, five. I don't, maybe a few um, just a couple just a couple I'm not feeling the stress I I hope I don't say anything triggering right now but uh, I'm not feeling the stress of approaching thirty per se um, not that anyone should I I just feel kind of like you know it, that's another example of like. Oh, it's this big, huge, serious milestone. Yeah, you know what? Like, not like sure, but like no. I I'm friends with plenty of like thirty five year olds that are just doing their thing also, and it's kind of just more life. I don't know. And then there's I'm, my husband. I'm like, you're gonna be thirty this year, and he's like, don't tell me about that. <laughs> like, I get it. I understand. <laughs> I know you're getting older. The bones start to do less work. I understand, but um. I'm kind of excited for that chapter of my life. Like, I don't know. I feel like a, a new decade to me means a new chapter. And so right now what I'm feeling is the beginning of the prep phase for like, like thirties to me feels like for film and television, especially is like a real good time to be like, I feel how like thirties and forties, I feel like people really thrive in their careers. Like when people are thriving in their careers in their twenties, it's dope. Mm -hmm. And it's great, and a lot of people are, but that's usually viewed, I feel like, most of the time as, oh, this young guy's in charge, or this young girl's in charge of, mm. like, this, like, that's, cr and in film, that's crazy. Like, that's, you know, and in the the medical industry, like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, it's when, very when rare I that hear people a lot of nurses... peak their careers at, like, 20s. Yeah, you know? well, I, I hear a lot of people say to nurses, like, oh, you're too young to be a nurse. And they're like, I graduated college, and I am very well qualified for this yeah job. no and you're very qualified um but i don't know i feel like people tend to view like 30s as like oh it's the beginning of the downward slope and it's like no it's like the peak really. of your life like, yeah you know like i'm sure you know like, your metabolism slows down you know that's tough your your body stops being as um it's the word i'm looking for versatile that's not the right word uh, your body stops. It, it's a little, uh, a little more brittle, perhaps. Yep. Uh, you know, there's more responsibility. There's more to take care of, and it's maybe the beginning for a lot of people of like starting families and yada yada yada. There, there's a lot. But I'm. It's like I don't know. It, I, I'm kind of excited to begin the prep phase. Of you know, I feel like I'm I'm beginning to set up my 30s. Mm. Like I feel I feel like I'm oh. beginning to make. I, I want to start making content so that when I turn 30, I've like got the ball rolling a little bit, and that's mm -hmm. just exciting to me. And I don't really feel like I've been ready for that. I feel like I've 
felt guilty for a long time for not feeling ready for that. Mm -hmm. And there's something about like, I'm just feeling so fulfilled in so many other parts of my life that I'm kind of like, I want to, I want to get serious. I want to, I want to, no more jokes. This no is more the serious jokes. John. Well, you know Hi, what? welcome to Mental Sync, the only show where it's not fucking funny. Well, <laughs> well, you know what's interesting about that is I have a different view on like 30 and Tell me all about it. Whatnot, and it's basically that I'm not there yet. No. Yeah. And I'm not, I just have, I have time. Yeah. And I'm not even really time. worried about 30, to be honest. Like, I don't know why I'm not. I'm, I'm more so worried no, about 40. 100%. <laughs> like, I'm like, everyone's like, oh, I'm going to turn 30. I'm like, I'm going to turn 40 one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel, I feel so, that. Yeah. That's a, a um, little more daunting, maybe. But I mean, but, think about, think about how it felt being um, 23. Think about how different everything fucking was. You have that much time. Yeah. That's a it's lot. True. That's a lot of time. Man, my guy. if I could go back to my 23 year old self and be like, bitch, let me tell you about Relax. what happened. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Breathe. You're it's going to be fine. You're fine. Which, you know what would be fun that just made me think about it for this episode is um, if you were to talk to uh, John from 2022, January. Oh. What would you say about this year? Oh, man. Um,. I, th I think a big piece of advice I've learned uh, that I would give myself is I'd say, hey, just because someone just because people say things to you loudly and confidently and aggressively, they may be entirely sure of themselves, but it does not make them right. Um, a really major thing for me this year between like work, my social life, honestly, all these different aspects has been actually what you were saying like valuing my own opinion and valuing myself and just feeling and you know I, I feel like that's improved like every year um but this year something really hit me different where I was just like and that you know this is an exaggeration of my anxiety but it's kind of the first time I've realized that I walk into a room uh assuming I'm the least intelligent person there um I just tend to believe that anyone who speaks to me confidently knows more than me and that I should learn from them. And, and that I think is something at some point everybody learns because yeah. I also have learned that this year. Yeah. It's, I'm, and, and I and think I, there's an advantage to uh, being receptive to what other people have to say, but I think I've really started yeah. to feel good about having opinions despite, yes. despite one unanimous opinion from everyone in the room. Right. This is the first year that I've felt actually like, I think I have a different one. And yeah. that's felt like even, even my closest friends have had like a, a dra like opposite opinion from me about like a certain like social situation or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I've just been like, no, my opinion's different. And I've just learned to really trust my gut. And I feel like oh, I, yeah. I have a good intuition with like reading people with like feeling the vibe of either either a, a work environment or a social situation of just like this feels off and there's no logical reason this that I can pinpoint mm -hmm. but I know it's off and I have learned that that's I don't want to say that that's a particular skill I have but it, uh, it's it's I think I have intuition and Liv tells me that that's because I'm an Aquarius, uh, which it might be. Maybe it's just because of how I worked on my people skills. Uh, maybe it's just a superpower, um, but I tend to read the vibe, I think, relatively well based on yeah. how a lot of this year has gone. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try this thing where I like value myself. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> I yeah. think that's a great goal. Um, but anyway, so anyway. what would I tell January 2022, Emily? Yeah, you're back in time and you come across January 2022, Emily, and you know that you can't touch her because that breaks the rules of time travel, mm -hmm. but you can say something to her. What do you say? Um, wow, there's so much to say. <laughs> yeah, you start with a gentle pat on the head. You know what? Even this year is going to suck. Time. No. <laughs> this year's going to suck. Brace yourself, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I would say um, 
man, I got to pick one that's good because I feel like yeah. I'm like not sure almost. Um, I think the biggest thing would definitely be to just do what makes you feel good. And if it's forced, it's not for you. I feel like I spent a lot of time this year doing things that I felt like I needed to do, but not yeah. because I wanted to do them, but because I, I was like, oh, I have to do this. Because it's the way things work and it's what you and have then, to do. Yeah. And I think the second thing would be, um, it would definitely be that it's okay. Like just, it's okay. If something happens, Sorry. it's okay. It's yeah. going to work out. Everything happens for a reason, and I am the most annoying person when it comes to that, and I will always say that everything happens for a reason, and my other thing is we're exactly where we're supposed to be in this very exact moment, and I think I would just remind myself of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I think I, I, I don't know, this year was, um, this year was, it was a big one. It was a big one. It was a big and one. we got a lot done. We did. And, and we talked about most of it. I think some of it made it uh, to the recordings and some of it did did not. But mm -hmm. for the sake of um, uh, talking about everything that's happened this year, everything we've talked about this year, Emily, what did we learn this year? Hmm. I think the first thing we learned is to pet some dogs. Pet some dogs, pet some dogs, pet some dogs. You got to go outside and pet those dogs. I've been posting on the Mental Sync Instagram story whenever I, I, love I that. sometimes I See just dog. pet dogs. Uh, it's great. Yeah. Pet dogs so all the time. So if you don't follow us on you. Instagram... Go follow, follow us on Instagram. And then you can see all the dogs we pet, and then it'll inspire you to, to also, as dogs. well, pet some dogs. I think rule, rule. I always say rule as if I'm like, this is the rule for the year. <laughs> this is a rule. Everyone listen up. There's a set of parameters. There's a rule. And here it is. <laughs> so the second thing I think we've learned this year yeah. is to set some boundaries. Set some boundaries. And just go, like, you are enough. Yeah, you man. trust yourself you're great. Love yourself. You love yourself. I actually we have our, love you. I actually have our one note pulled up. Do you mind if I uh, run through yeah. what we've learned this year? Yeah. All right. Number one, date yourself. Oh, yep. Take yourself on a date. Go date out yourself. and do the things you love. Number two, yell at your friends or don't. I don't super remember everything that episode was about, but sometimes you got to tell your friends what's up. That's probably boundaries. That was probably a boundaries <laughs> thing probably... that we talked about. Yeah. Number three, uh, well, this one's called to party or not to party, <laughs> but that's not a piece of advice. Go to the party if you want to, or like don't. And, or don't. <laughs> and it's fine, and it's all good, and it's up to you and what you want to do. Next one, uh, men. Just number men. Number five, uh, <laughs> the procrastination and discipline. Don't I don't know. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't procrastinate, <laughs> but, do the, but do, the do, discipline. The discipline. <laughs> do the discipline. Do the discipline. Don't the procrastinate. Um. Grief uh, is a heavy topic. <laughs> grief. Don't have grief. Don't. Uh, seven. <laughs> Natural phobias. Uh, this is not are quite scary. working as advice. <laughs> don't be. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared of the tornado. <laughs> don't be. It's okay. Um, number eight. Eggs and Benedict. Eat also that. known as. Can you say it? Existentialism. Woo! Almost. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> say it one more time existentialism it's not exta why exit it's like exit it's like the word exit <laughs> existentialism yeah all right um Exit it's okay Benedict. there's a whole lot out there and we're just a little bit of it <laughs> moving on <laughs> therapy go to therapy everyone needs therapy i need mm -hmm. therapy you need therapy we all need therapy uh, if you're not yes. going to therapist, it's fine, but it's kind of like but you're you not should. going to your dentist. Um, and all your teeth might fall out. <laughs> all your teeth might fall out. Next, uh, medical fears and phobias. Try not to have those, but try to pronounce them better than we do. Uh, planets and elements. Oh, Planets use, are cool. Planets are fucking awesome. Use the Zodiac if you want as a tool and if you to, don't want to learn about yourself and stuff. And if you don't want to, don't. Then don't do that. Right? Do you have the thing? Do you want to read off some? Sure. Um, who cares? <laughs> who gives a shit? You know, guys? I um, don't. Don't be insecure because who cares? Who cares? Um, toxic people suck. Toxic um, people. You're the don't worst. Be, 
don't be toxic. Don't do that. But also, no. you know, if you are toxic, learn from it. Yeah, it's okay. You, you can admit it. Just work on it. It's um, fine. We're growing. You're going to need a scale for this one because you're going to need to balance work and life. Oh, God. And just... <laughs> And just find the balance. Find the balance, everyone, between work and life. Um, Please. You can't do it all. Um, Depression. You are not your peck. Your peck name. You are not your neck pain. You are not your neck neck pain. pain. My dudes. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, um, you are not defined by your depression. Or your intrusive thoughts. Your intrusive thoughts. You're your own person. That's just a thing you're going through. Don't you yeah. worry. You work on it, it can improve. Does aliens is real? Does aliens is real? I believe we. I believe yes is what we learned. <laughs> Does aliens is real? Yes. Moving on. Yes. Yes. Um, if it's too loud, you can't see. You can't see. No. 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 Um. um parents are traumatizing. No. Parents. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding that was a joke um <laughs> so that being said uh-huh. um just love your kids man love them they're trying their best too you know um and you know it's family is a relationship <laughs> <laughs> family is indeed a relationship what are the other two episodes <laughs> i know i pulled them up because i realized we were running out uh adhd go get tested for adhd oh yeah said john someone who has not yet gotten tested for adhd oh, yeah. be better than tested. me and insp- I'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna do it i'll do it mm-hmm. i'm gonna do it all right i'm gonna do it i go gotta get it. a little money first but I'll, I'll go do it yeah yeah do it okay uh and then finally uh well not finally but the next one is <laughs> physical health and hygiene yeah wash your body uh, take care so of yourself. So that you're not a uh, it's all sweaty, smelly boy. Don't be a sweaty, smelly boy. Don't <laughs> yeah. do that. And it's still, we, make you we still want to know your deodorant recommendations. So please leave yeah, those in the comments below. Yeah. And the actual final thing, Emily. Yeah. What did we learn? Pet some dogs. No, well, that was the first <laughs> thing. But what's the... F- so we love you. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love you is what we learned. God. We love Man. you so much. We love you. We're little shitters. Listen, and if nobody said that they love you today, we said it first. We said it first. And we do love you. We really mean that. Yeah, man. We really All do. All 15 of you. Yeah. I don't even know. I think we have more than that, but... I don't know. That'd be sick. Cool. We do have more than that. Yeah. But yeah. um, we do love you. Yeah. So, happy Hang new year. Happy new year. New year, but upgraded you. Upgraded us. Yes. We got this. And uh, we will see you next time next for season, season three. Season three. Of. <laughs> Mental Sync. That's the one. That's the one. Bye, guys. Good bye. Cool. Okay, are we happy?